So I'll get through this quickly. Um, really want to go through the state of responsible investing through the first half that uh, of the year. The, the, it's been such a fascinating year with the crash and then the recovery. All these questions about how responsible investments, sustainable investments, would perform in a downturn, right? Or in a, in a bear market, in a bull market. We have lots of answers from this. And really, it's looking pretty good that so far in the second quarter, uh, responsible investment funds continue to hold up well relative to their, to their conventional fund peers. Um, you know, a significant majority of Canadian responsible investment uh, funds outperform their average asset class return in the three month period. So in the second quarter, more than half of responsible investments did outperform. And this follows the strong relative results in the first quarter when 83% of responsible investment funds outperform their average asset class. What this means is that on the whole, responsible investments didn't fall by quite as much. That would have been that first quarter, you know, through March, things were really quite low. But then also in the rebound, more than half of them have, have outperformed over the last three months, which is really, really awesome. Uh, we can see here some charts. Let me zoom in. Uh, so this is going to be Canadian equity. Oh, does it not let me zoom in on this chart? There we go. So, you know, we can see here, oh, that's fixed income. It jumped me down. So we can start with Canadian equity, right? So you can see here 74% of RI funds outperformed uh, for the one year ending uh, uh, June 30th, 2020. So when we look at this, you know, they didn't fall by as much as of June 30th before things got back up to where they were. Um, you can see really the blue line that a responsible investment Canadian equity has outperformed. Again, keep in mind that they tend to be less lower weighted in energy. And over the past five years, energy has performed very, very poorly. Uh, fixed income has been the same. You know, just this very, very slight outperformance really over the last year has done better. Um, these neutral balanced, okay, fine. What I really care about is global equity. That, you know, when it comes to global stocks, more than 71% of responsible investment funds have outperformed their average asset class return uh, over the three month period, which is incredible. You know, from there, you can see here over the last three months, over the last year, it's just been remarkable to see responsible investments, three years and then five year return. So, you know, this is looking at Canadian domiciled uh, funds, both ETFs and mutual funds, which is really cool. So this is my way of saying that responsible investments have held up very nicely during 2020 so far, which I'm thrilled to see these results. Uh, in terms of popularity, something really interesting is happening in the US. So this is from uh, Morningstar, who I love. Uh, you can see here the headline, sustainable funds continue to rake in assets during the second quarter. So uh, uh, it's been remarkable watching funds flow into sustainable funds. This is all in the US. You can see that really, you know, these are quarterly flows, so money flowing in. You can see that it never really got above two billion per quarter, right? It was, it's kind of been languishing there. Then all of a sudden last year, whoa, 4 billion, you know, probably almost 5 billion, 4 billion, whoa, almost, you know, 10 billion here. From there, uh, so it was $20 billion was the number for 2019. And we've already seen $20 billion of inflow in the first half of this year. So this to me is showing that at least in the US, you know, in 2008, 2009, when the market crashed, sustainability, sustainable investing really got thrown on the back burner. Nobody cared about it. Everyone was like back to fundamentals, you know, let's, let's stick with what works, let's right, let's not try anything new. Whereas now in this crisis, we are seeing a huge bump in uh, the assets of these sustainable funds. So really to me, this is a signal that the tidal wave is coming, that I think a lot more money is starting to flow into ESG funds. And I think this really is gaining momentum in a very tangible way within the mainstream investment community, which makes me so, so happy. So really, this is super encouraging. I love to see this. Unfortunately, the number for Canada's haven't been as strong. Uh, surprise, surprise, we are uh, uh, lagging here. 
So um, what's cool is that there have been all of these product launches. So you guys have seen, you know, these are new mutual funds and ETFs. I've been covering a bunch of these, but so many uh, uh, new launches, you know, 2019. And then we've already had, you know, I think about as many, I think we've had, uh, what is it, about 15 or 16 already so far in 2020. So, you know, lots of new product. Unfortunately, assets under management hasn't been great. We're not seeing the tidal wave that we did before. You can see the, the line charts are the aggregate fund size. So this is like how much people have invested. Whereas the blue line, that's a little bit tricky to see, but this is net flows. And so you can see it's been okay. The blue line is kind of trending up that in the first quarter, you know, we did see these record inflows, you know, probably over a billion dollars. That said, in the second quarter, you know, it has been disappointing. Uh, barely any inflows. This is at zero right here. So, you know, really haven't seen the uh, bump in assets in Canada that we've seen in the U.S. So surprise, surprise, we're still a little bit behind the curve. That said, um, you know, obviously I'm doing my part. Uh, hopefully that we can have uh, uh, more Canadian investors picking up on this trend. So really to me, you know, what this tells me is that we are still very early on in the transition, but it is happening. If we look at the US, you know, this sort of $40 billion, this $20 billion, you know, flowing in, keep in mind that total ETF assets are about $4 trillion, right? So it's still, this is still a tiny percentage of the overall market. I would say, say we're probably in the second inning when it comes to sustainable investing here, that it is still very, very early days. But uh, obviously I'm really thrilled to see it getting picked up by mainstream investors in the US.